I was never imagined that I have this luck to meet Terence Malick and to do work with him and also as a leading character. When he called me the first time, we didn't do any small talk. We immediately, you know, talked about the world and life. And in that very moment, I felt, wow, that's with whom I want to work with. And now it's been already almost eight weeks. And it seems like a lifetime, actually. It's basically a story of family man in a small village in Austria, 1941. At that point, the German military was looking to recruit from further and further away to feed the Russian front. These German recruiters turned up, went to all of the men of appropriate age, of which France was one, and said, all right, Basically, you're called up. He walked back into the village and he confronted his family with the fact that he had decided that he was going to refuse the drug, which at that point was sort of paramount to a death sentence. It's a very tiny, strong Catholic community. People relied on each other, and that also meant that you could not jump out of the row. Can imagine that the whole village was maybe surprised and then annoyed, and then they were turning against them and saying, well, everybody is doing that. We're losing men on the front, and your husband is not doing anything. The story really becomes about love, and it becomes about conscience, and it becomes about do you have the right to hurt people that you love in order for some greater good. I remember the first time when I read the script, and I had a lot of talks also with Terence. He was calling me a lot. I remember the first moment I was really thinking, this is so strong. I don't even know if I would have this strength. I knew about Hans Segerstetter before, but I never have read the letters before, and that's what they sent me. I think after the first third of reading the letters, I started to cry. <laughs> It's very obvious in this letters how much she was always giving him courage and saying, you're on the right path and God is with us and I am with you, my love is for eternity. If you are together you can do like the weirdest or strongest and hardest things. And that's also something I feel with the project, it's like when you really trust each other and when you're like, we're doing this together, then really great things can happen. I just love working with true filmmakers, people that have a approach that is their own, both to storytelling and the material that they select. We are constantly in a flow of shooting and you're always in character. I think he really is looking for this sort of real moment. You go through long, long, not even a scene or a situation, a mood, and he's not cutting it when it's getting boring or it doesn't tell anything. So you work and work, you do fire, you're haying, you're scything the meadows. You have this normal life as a farmer, but for real. You really, you're working, you clean the stable. After a while, something is happening, after 20 minutes, which no one ever could direct or even write down, because it comes really from the situation. We shot an enormous amount of footage. There's always variations, and there's sort of variations on variations when things <laughs> change. Terence is always coming and saying, I like this scene so much, we're going to do it another day again. Maybe this afternoon or tomorrow on a different location. So we did the same scene over and over and over again. After a week or two, I was putting the script aside, because every day it was just about jumping into cold water and to risk. We were really encouraged to create ourselves and I felt that Terry trusted me so much with my work. You have to trust somebody very much to do this and we risked a lot and with Valerie I felt that the, from the first moment on that she's willing to take the same risk. This loving collaboration of everyone, mm. that's something that makes me really happy and proud at the same time to be part of because I think it's so important to let creativity flow.